Welding may seem like an intimidating thing to get into, but it's a lot more simple than you think. This week on Quick Tip Tuesday, I'm going to build a simple metal cube to illustrate to you all the, some of the basics of metal fabrication. I'm going to take this leftover 1 inch square tubing and create a 5 inch cube. Because I'm going to be using butt joints instead of miter joints, not all the pieces that I cut are going to be the same length. You'll see what I mean as the video progresses, but basically I will be cutting four pieces that are five inches long and eight pieces that are three inches long. These portable horizontal metal band saws are incredible time savers for metal fabrication. They're super affordable and they don't take up a whole lot of space, so you can put them in your home shop. I highly recommend you look into one if you're at all serious about getting into metal fab. Band saws typically result in a cleaner cut anyway so it makes fitting the metal up later a lot easier. I recommend setting up a stop or a jig when you're cutting a lot of pieces that are the same length. This way you don't have to independently measure each piece and you can just slide the material through the fence and butt it up against the stop. Chop that piece and repeat. Here I'm using a belt sander to deburr the cut and to put a chamfer where the weld joints will be. You can also use a bench grinder or a handheld grinder with a grinding wheel to achieve the same effect. Here you can see why I had to cut two different sized pieces of metal. Essentially to create a 5 inch square in both dimensions, one of the dimensions is going to be made up of a 3 inch piece and then two of the 1 inch pieces resulting in 5 inches. Of course in the other dimension, the 5 inch piece goes the entire length. It's important to use a square and to tack your piece together first. A tack is just a small amount of weld, just enough to hold the pieces together. This allows you to make sure that you got your cuts right and it doesn't induce too much heat into the material right off the bat. Once you've tacked everything together in multiple areas to ensure that it doesn't move when you start to weld, you can start to lay the beads into the valleys that you created with the chamfers earlier. For this project, I'm using our Miller 252 MIG welder. MIG welding is just about the easiest type of welding to learn if you're a beginner. It's essentially a hot glue gun for metal. It's easy these days to get discouraged from learning how to weld because on social media you're probably looking at pictures of people with perfect welds and stacked dimes. A good weld is a functional weld. They don't all have to look like an art piece. So I've welded up all the joints and it's time to move on to finishing. I'm going to use this belt sander again to knock down the majority of the material and then I'll go back to the bench and use a flap wheel to really put a nice finish into it. Again, I used the belt sander because we had it, but you could do this entire process with an angle grinder and a variety of abrasive discs. Now you may be wondering, alright, why did he make a cube? That doesn't seem to have any function at all. Well, I did this to illustrate a few different steps in just about all metal fabrication. Cutting your pieces, checking the fit, tacking together, ensuring that they're square, welding them up, and grinding it smooth. This will overlay into the creation of table bases, frames, just about anything that you're making out of metal. So hopefully you guys got some useful information out of this video. Uh, love to hear about people that uh, are getting into metalworking. It's one of my favorite things to do in the world, really. So comment, like, subscribe. Let us know what you thought of this video and see you next week.